Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming back. These are going to be videos, or I should say readings for April 2016. I want to say special welcome to all my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing, for watching. Thank you all for your wonderful comments and feedback uh, and texts as well and emails. I appreciate it more than you will ever know. Uh, so thank you and keep watching. Thank you so much for new viewers and new subscribers. Thank you for uh, giving your time and taking chance on these videos and I hope that you will get to enjoy these videos as much as all the other subscribers have up until this point. Um, let's start with uh, April. It's a beautiful sunny day. I feel April is going to be a fantastic mon month for a lot of you. I think for some of you, um, March was a little bit iffy. Um, energies were shifting and people were going through a lot of changes. I do feel that April looks much brighter for um, most of you, majority of you, if not all of you. So let's get started with the reading. And again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please comment. Please um, email me if you like please text me with your comments and also please remember that these are general readings they will not apply to everyone every single time and if they don't apply to you in some months uh, go and look at your different uh, your other signs as these may apply to you much more uh, than your uh, sun um, sun sign. I find that clients or people who watch often say that when they listen to their other signs, it makes much more sense to them. So feel free to do that and uh, let me know if it works for you. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Hello and welcome back. This is going to be reading for the sign of Scorpio for April 2016. Uh, when I shuffled the cards, I asked my guide to give me any message before I flip over the cards. And what was said to me was this, believe in yourself. Always believe in yourself. Other people will help you be more confident, but they cannot give you confidence back. Always remember to be true to yourself and true to one another, for that is the only way you will find true happiness within you. Okay? Now let's see if the cards can um, affirm what was being said. So in the position of present, I'm just going to move this, just give me one second. In a position of present, we have the card called um, Emotional Loss. This card corresponds to your emotions. It is card number five, which is card about changes. And I also want to say in this particular reading, upheavals. But the card is shown to me in reverse. And that is telling me that you have undergone some emotional loss, particularly when it comes to a loved one. So this is where you are right now. Just waiting to see if you can give me a little bit more information. And what I'm hearing is that your loved one is in heaven. And I say the words in heaven uh, with um, quotation marks because um, I don't know what, what term to use, but I'm going to use the word in spirit. Your loved one is in spirit. And they're always around you. And don't forget that. That's what I'm being shown. And I am picking up particularly a, a male figure. So for some of you, and certainly not all of you, you have lost someone dear and close to you, whether it be friend, family member, or a parent who is a male. And I feel and I hear that this is fairly recent. For some of you, you have undergone um, a relationship that was in turmoil. So you have undergone some kind of a change in relationship. Um, having said that, even though there is a bit of a heaviness around it, I do know and I feel that you are on the right track. Uh, this can also signify loss of a job. I am feeling this, but this is in the past, but it is fairly recent. I want to say February slash March, and I think some other sign got this. Um, so that is what is happening right now. 
And I'm also being told, please don't be too concerned about what's happen what happens next, because what happens next, it's much more positive than what you have just undergone, okay? Or what you have just gone through. Now, let's see what the card uh, two represents, which is five, um, sorry, past influences. We have the card called Heartache and Loss. And this, uh, this was shown to me in reverse, and this is telling me that you have just gone through something that was heart-wrenching, whether it is a loss of a loved one, a loss of a partner, a loss of a pet, uh, a family friend, a loss of a job, perhaps, that, that you have gone through that in a very recent past, which is coincidentally um, very similar to what this card said at the very beginning. Um, what I am being told is to say the past in the past and is the past and there is no point in ruminating about what once was or what ifs. And again, I'm being told have faith in yourself and in your abilities and also that the sun will shine brightly once again in a very near future or in a not too distant of a future okay so that's the influence now the card that talks about your future is the card that's called solitude this is a major arcana card um, nine to me represents changes in this case changes within you uh, but this card was shown to me in reverse okay so I'm going to ask my guide what he's saying by this he's saying to me that you're looking for answers from out with, from outside of you not from within and he's saying that all the answers that you will ever need come from within and reside within you. And he's showing me a metaphor, and this is a key, and the key is representative of unlocking a certain door, or the door represents the answer to something. And he's saying to me, the key lies very much within you. If you could only be still for a moment, you would come to the understanding that all the information that you would ever require is given to you and it comes to you from within. Now keep in mind that I have no clue what I'm talking about other than I'm repeating the words and I'm feeling the energy. Um, he's also asking me to point at this card and this lady is kneeling down and she is looking at a book. This book represents uh, wisdom, inner wisdom or inner knowledge, inner knowledge, inner knowing. The column behind her right here uh, to me represents um, a lot of not only protection around you, but a lot of, I hear the word endurance too, but a lot of stability and comfort and support. Support is the big word here. So um, you have the support that you need, though I feel you do not think you have it or you do not feel you have it. But because this is shown to me um, on in reverse, it is suggesting that, um, you need to pay more attention, excuse me, you need to pay more attention to what the inner you is wanting to tell you and not to look so much outside of you for answers. I'm also being told that what you have just undergone has the potential and the capacity to change you at a profound level in a positive way. Uh, and there is no doubt that you have just undergone something probably very traumatic and heart-wrenching. Um, and if it's a loved of a lot, it's a loss of a loved one, you know, there's not a lot of wisdom in that other than it stinks and it hurts. But it, if, if it is a loss of a relationship or a loss of a job, um, 
there is some level of understanding that needs to happen and that comes from within and that level of understanding is going to allow you to see things in a different light and to allow you to have a different perspective about yourself and what happened uh, going forward, okay? Now, in a position of reason, so basically what's the reason behind all this? Mm -hmm. Oops, we have the card, card called Spiritual Union. So this is an emotional card. It signifies a yin and a yang or a relationship between two people, two, um, woman, man or a woman, man or a man, woman or a woman, doesn't matter. But basically what this is saying to me is that the reason why you have undergone something difficult uh, is because of a spiritual union. So for some of you, um, you are um, leaving a relationship or a relationship uh, was left behind. For some of you, um, someone is leaving. Uh, it could also be a departed one or someone who is the part of this world and it was a loved one who, uh, you know, left this journey and entered the next phase of their journey in the spirit world. So that's the reason, but I was already pretty sure that that was happening based on the cards that were presented to you uh, right here. But don't forget this card, the inner wisdom. Um, if it is a loss of a loved one, that's an entirely different story. But if it is to do with you being uh, confused or not understanding why a certain relationship ended or uh, this could be romantic, this could be work situation, this could be friendship, uh, why it ended, please look within for some answers because I feel that you have the ability to access some very, very valuable information that would allow you to go, okay, I think I understand and I also think I understand what part I played in it. Now, again, if it comes of, um, to uh, if it comes to losing somebody because they passed, that's a different story. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about uh, loss of a relationship or something coming apart as a result of somebody leaving, something ending, a relationship ending, or something of that nature. Okay. Now, in this position of oh, I'm out of breath. Potential from all of this. We have the card perfect, triumphant success. This is your thinking. This is in a traditional tarot deck. I believe it's called the Ace of Swords. One represents new beginning. So even though you have undergone some pretty traumatic experiences, there's no doubt, the potential of all of this situation is a new beginning for you in the way you feel, in the way you think, in the way you approach life, and in the way you view yourself. And again, I'm hearing, please have faith because the sun will shine once again very brightly in the near future. And this card represents, uh, I almost want to say rising out of ashes. This hand is, you know, coming out of... Um, a ground signifying triumph, really. That's really what it's signifying. And victory, success, triumphant success, feeling triumphant, feeling again like you are on top of the world is the potential of all of this. And I'm going to see if there is any additional information he would like me to, okay. Trust yourself. Trust yourself in your abilities. Trust yourself in what you feel. Now, there is a bit of a tug of war between your fears and between your intuition. And I feel like for some of you, there is a difficulty or a challenge recognizing what is fear, what is ego, and what is intuition. And I'm going to ask him how to address this. And he says to me, Intuition just comes. Fear is a thinking process. So if you um, 
if you are confused about whether it's your ego uh, or fear or whether it's your intuition, intuition just comes and sits there. It comes out of nowhere. And oftentimes it gives you information you're not expecting or it's different than what you would have thought. Fear or ego has a pattern of, it, there, it's a pattern of thinking. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a thought. It has, um, it, it has a beginning, it has the end, and it's very much a thought. So that's the best way that I can describe it for you, to you. And if you understand what I mean, just maybe send me a comment, or if you want further clarification, or maybe actually I will do a video on distinguishing intuition from fear or from ego. But drop me a note and let me know if you require additional um, clarification of what I mean. But that is the best way that I can describe it, okay? I hope this makes sense to you. I, as always, I love your comments. It um, just basically says, okay, I've done this. Even though I didn't understand it, it made sense to you. And that's all what I really care about. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching. Um, and of course, if you would like a private reading that is geared specifically to you, or if you want to collect, connect with a loved one, by all means, you can contact me at info at joannademedium.com, or you can uh, go to my website, which is down below, and contact me from there. I wish you best of luck. I wish you a wonderful April. Uh, chin up, I'm being told. Everything is going to be okay. Uh, the sun is going to be shining brightly once again. Um, and I wish you best of luck once again. I will see you again in May. Okay? Take care and thank you.